just want to show um, a little test lead here. I've got run into um, the lead that goes up through the pillar here and then all the way over um, to the dome light. And just to make sure this is working, obviously that comes on with the switch, which I know I repaired my switch, of course. I showed you guys that there with the couple photos and everything to take that switch apart kind of easy to do but just making sure that this is indeed grounded um, well because it, it grounds through the housing and then uh, obviously that the power lead uh, is working fine not a problem when I did take the dash apart originally just to save some time I'd cut some of the old wires out I'm going to replace some of these leads here um, that go from driver side to the passenger side uh, this hot lead here is just from the engine compartment there and of course this one's coming up to the switch but the the trick is to get these with the um, the doors obviously the door jam switches uh, working correctly so uh, the next part will be that just to wire those back together and then give everything juice and see where we're at so uh, pretty excited this is back together and that uh, this is working like it's supposed to. I'd like to add some under dash lights. I thought that would be nice um, when people are getting out of the car, of course. Um, and then maybe even do some wiring. We run up under here, uh, the scuff plate underneath this carpet. Maybe even put some lights right under the um, front seat uh, so you can kind of see when you're getting out. But I don't know, just one of those projects to do uh, one day later on. Right now what we're doing is testing this um, switch for the door that operates the dome light and so before we wire everything back up um, from driver's side to passenger side and all of that, just want to make sure both the switches work. So the way that I do this, <clears throat> of course I could get my ohmmeter out and um, do a little continuity test but I just like watching a light um, light up. So I got a test light here. Got a little 12 volt um, power source rigged up, and I did put new terminal um, and blade ends there. And of course, uh, this wire goes back into the pillar right up here where the actual switch is located. So, what I'm going to do is turn on my power source um, down here. That's a low amp job, but a full 12 volts. And then, of course, with this um, switch, the door open, the switch out, um, that should complete the circuit and when I touch um, the test light to the other lead we should get a light and looks like we do here here we go get a good surface there some of the surface may be corroded on some of my alligator clips but anyway and then of course uh, what we'll do I'm gonna hold the camera best I can and then I'm gonna push the switch in um, just to make sure this is working correctly so got my middle finger on the switch and hold the camera with the other hand of course just barely pushing that in it goes out and then I don't know if you can hear that door jam switch actually being pushed in there but um, that's the way I like to test them you can use an ohm meter for that too for continuity um, but I like to watch a light go off and on maybe it's just me but anyway, I'm going to test the other side um, with this 12 volt power source. And then after that, we'll go ahead and complete the wiring up of the dome light. All right, here we are on the uh, driver's side. It also looks like a mess right now, but basically, I've got just a hot wire, real quick, wired up to the uh, this junction here. And so, what happens is you've obviously got um, two wires that come from the passenger side over there, that door jam switch over to here they need to connect a circuit then your other connection uh, needs to have the power that connects um, the other two wires in other words one lead from one side each connected together then the other lead from one side each getting power and then also that same junction block goes up to your dome light so just to test what I want to do got my finger on the courtesy um, light switch here, the, the door jam switch. Got power to it. Gonna put my finger out there and we've got the light that comes on. If I uh, 
obviously this works back and forth here. Now what I'm going to do is just uh, hold my finger on the door jam switch. Obviously there's no juice to the light, but uh, we'll turn the switch on. You heard that switch there. All right, and then that turned on the light, and then we'll, just so you can see this, turn the switch, you heard it there, and there we go, then the door jam. So what I'm going to do is um, go ahead and disconnect my power lead, um, and then, of course, just double check that the other uh, side's working correctly. Of course, I know that um, it wasn't when we tested the jam, so it, it should be okay. But uh, we're going to go ahead and do that real quick. Then after that, I'll know that I'll be able to wire up everything up underneath the dash as far as running the wires. Then I can put my um, kick panels in. And we've got another project down. So uh, let's make sure this works first. All right, the dome light's on. I've got my uh, passenger door open. I've got it wired correctly. Um, and also power off of the... Uh, headlight switch like it's supposed to be and then I just leveled the wires down here just in case I have any issues I'm going to run everything and then have to strip anything out so double check all that first then I run the wires where they need to go but uh, anyway it's on and of course I'm just going to double check here hit the uh, door jam switch I want to close the door um, just to be sure that this thing of course now I'm seeing that the lights all there it goes okay just close the door and the light is off and go to the other side kind of wondering about that passenger side switch maybe open this door up the light should be on and it is and uh, okay I don't know if um, I need to just clean the contacts or not on the other side but uh, it's working fine. What we want to do is go inside uh, to the other side now, close both doors, and then operate the switch manually just to make sure that it's um, working like it's supposed to. All right, so we open the door up. The light is on. Close the door. Lights off, and then we'll hit the switch. And the test is working. So. We're good to go. We're going to run these wires and uh, call it a job finished. Job well done.